Good morning and welcome to the Red Couch live here at PCM in Nuremberg. My name is Michael Bunn. I'm the editor in chief of the E&E Fascination of Electronics. And during the whole trade show, we will have interviews with important people from the power electronics industry when we'll talk about topics that are moving the industry right now. And you can watch us live here at the trade show or via YouTube or our Facebook channel. And right now, I'm very pleased to welcome Alexei Tcherkasov, Business Development Manager from Proton Electrotex. And we will talk about current trends in high power and high voltage ele power electronics. Welcome, Mr. Tcherkasov. Yes, thank you. First of all, what's your overall impression of the state of power electronics? There has been a lot of enthusiasm in the last year. And do you still see this enthusiasm or has it calmed down? Okay, actually, yeah, you're right saying that last year uh, it was uh, booming, uh, so to say, in the uh, power electronics industry. Uh, and after, so to say, uh, drop in 2009, uh, 2010 and mid-2011 uh, due to some certain reasons we all know and uh, last year it was just um, overwhelming uh, uh, when power electronics just uh, step by step was growing up to uh, developing and uh, increasing and so far this year uh, uh, judging on first quarter or even uh, four and a half months, yes, uh, uh, I can say that uh, this year might be considered, uh, well, not some shocking results, some overwhelming stuff, but uh, uh, for sure this is not, well, not worse than last one. And uh, I believe uh, judging on some, well, forecasts, uh, some uh, investigations, I believe we can, uh, well, we can hope for a much better year, actually. So I, well, I do not see any reasons uh, to consider this year to be, uh, well, so to say, dropping. Uh, actually, I believe and I feel that uh, it will be booming more. So we can expect uh, good results. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have your own fab in Russia. You're not fabless. You're yes. <laughs> yeah. So what are the latest trends in manufacturing power electronics semiconductors? Uh, yes, correct. We have our, our fab in Russia. Actually, we have well two facilities. Uh, the uh, R&D center, R&D department is based in Moscow, and uh, our headquarters and our production facilities are based in a city called. Uh, Oral, it's uh, just uh, 360 kilometers to south from Moscow. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, this is R&D guys uh, who are responsible for new developments and for uh, developing new uh, power electronic stuff uh, for our company. Uh, actually, a couple of days ago, uh, my colleague was presenting the speech uh, here at PCIM uh, on their latest uh, work. It's uh, modular measuring uh, equipment unit uh, to measure some uh, static uh, parameters, uh, dynamic parameters of power electronics, of power semiconductors. Uh, so, um, and uh, they also responsible for developing some new products, uh, not just for testing or for measuring, but also for power electronics market. And I can say that uh, this year we will have first samples of IGBTs, uh, uh, some um, well, faster four-inch uh, thoresis coming in September, and also, well, uh, I can say that in a couple of years uh, we'll have some more stuff to come. Uh, for example, we'll increase our range uh, of uh, phase control thyristors, uh, and uh, they will have uh, blocked voltage up to 8.5 kV. Uh, moreover, since we've uh, already uh, well managed to uh, produce uh, four inch thyristors, we see no obstacle to produce uh, five inch and maybe later to six inch uh, devices. So, well, of course we have more things to come, but, well, let's keep it a secret for the next shows. <laughs> okay. Um, you are working with different sizes of silicon crystals. Can you yeah. explain a little bit uh, what does that mean for the semiconductors? Yes, right. Uh, we work uh, so far with uh, crystals uh, from 24 millimeters up to 100 millimeters, as I said previously. And, uh, well, probably I... 
in a couple of years uh, we'll increase it up to five inch and uh, speaking about uh, what that means uh, well, increasing the size of the crystal of silicon crystal um, such uh, parameters like uh, mean on state current surgeon state current and uh, they increase as well and also uh, peak on state voltage uh, drops uh, with the increase of silicon crystal. Mm -hmm. Computer modeling and simulation is quite popular in electronics, so it's becoming more and more popular, even in power electronics. How do you use this for your products, for your customers? Actually, you're right. Uh, I cannot even uh, imagine a modern company which uh, can work in power electronics industry without having some modeling software because um, it helps a lot and uh, uh, first of all it uh, helps to well to escape to all some mistakes uh, because uh, in uh, this using this software you can see what are processes going on in the semiconductor uh, devices uh, de uh, you can well calculate some dependencies uh, so uh, software really helps and it first of all helps uh, to well, not to spend a lot of money uh, to well to production development. It, uh, first of all, you can see everything in your computer, and then based on these details, based on the data, you go to serious production. Mm -hmm. hey. Okay. What are, from your point of view, the most important markets and applications for power electronic semiconductors, and maybe from from the point of your company as well? And did that change within the last years? Yes, uh, I believe that, uh, as I feel, uh, nowadays a uh, very good market uh, for power electronics is uh, uh, South American market. It's such countries like Brazil, uh, Uruguay, Argentina. Um, I believe uh, this is the best market uh, to go in and uh, nowadays and uh, last year PCIM in Sao Paulo proves it uh, uh, unfortunately we well we couldn't um, be presented there last year but hopefully we will go this or next year and um, well this market uh, South America is very interesting uh, and if uh, any modern company wants to be up to date with their competitors so they should consider this market to be number one and their priority since okay European market is good uh, world market is good but uh, South America has very great potential uh, for power electronics uh, so first you need to go there and as speaking about uh, the uh, application for power semiconductors yeah from our point of view um, I believe uh, the most well there are a lot of uh, applications and sometimes it's really hard to say uh, well what is the best or most popular or there's so many because so many things work on power semiconductors so it's difficult to say but well to mention a few it's uh, for example MVHV drives, uh, it's power converters for wind generators, it's soft starters, uh, induction and melting heaters, uh, and many others. But, uh, well, uh, if we're speaking about uh, the uh, most popular, I can say uh, HV, MV drives, and uh, I believe uh, welding equipment nowadays very popular. Mm -hmm. Finally, we don't have the, to, uh, the chance to talk to someone from Russia too often. Oh, really? So um, <laughs> I'm interested in the Russian power electronics market, which we don't hear ab about too much here in Germany. Can you give us some insight on that? Uh, yes, actually, I think you're right saying that uh, Russian power electronics is something new to Germany, to Europe. Um, yeah. And if you ask uh, someone, uh, some engineer from power electronics industry well, 10 years ago and you will ask uh, about proton electrotechs or just Russian uh, power electronics market, I believe they would have nothing to say. But, uh, well, judging uh, on the investigations, data, I can say that this is changing and uh, uh, 
Russian uh, manufacturers, especially Proton Electrotest, is getting more and more recognized uh, in Europe and world ma market. And we have uh, ac actually quite good uh, marketing policy for easier and good communication uh, with our customers, potential customers, clients. We have uh, two representatives in Europe, so to be, well, easy cooperating. Uh, and, well, speaking about exactly Russian manufacturers, we have two major manufacturers, uh, which are one is Proton Electrotex. Uh, in the Russian market, we share 50-50, something like this, uh, yeah. Russian market. But uh, Proton Electrotex is not aimed at uh, Russian market primarily. Uh, our target is uh, world market and European uh, in the first step. So uh, we're doing job, we're doing great job in uh, marketing and hopefully in five years, uh, well, we'll be recognized more. So mm -hmm. I believe this. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you. this was the Red Couch talk about current trends in high power and high voltage power electronics live from the PCM trade show. Dear Mr. Cherkasov, it was a pleasure. Thank you Thank for you being too. our guest this morning. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching and listening. We wish you a successful trade show. And if you are interested, you will find this interview and all the other Red Couch talks on Publish Industries' YouTube channel later on. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>